After spending some time with these, they've sent a very clear message as to who they'd help in their day-to-day -day life. This is Yamaha's premium take on the neckband, the EP E70A. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. These earphones have given me the sense of being targeted towards the business executive. I see it working pretty well in that kind of lifestyle, not just because of the costing, but because of how they operate and how they're built. But before I get into all the details of these earphones, thank you to Yamaha for making this review possible and sending me a demo unit. All thoughts and opinions are my own. So let's jump straight in with their build. Compared to the other Yamaha products I've recently reviewed, this one's unboxing experience screams luxury. After removing the outer sleeve, the box's flap is held with a magnet and upon opening it reveals a card with the model name on it and shows you the box contents on the other side. Under it is the neckband and below it you get a small box with ear tips, you get extra small, small, medium on the earphones, large and extra large to ensure a perfect fit. You also get a larger box that's holding a USB-C cable for charging, a USB-C to 3.5mm auxiliary cable for when you want to go analog and you get an in-flight adapter as well for when you want to connect to any in-flight entertainment on one of your travels. And for when you don't want to have these around your neck, you can store them in the pouch provided. It seems like they've used a hydrophobic material which will keep your device safe when stored. Moving on to the neck band. It's quite well balanced and light, weighing in at a mere 62 grams, so it'll be easy to forget when it's around your neck. The band has a matte plastic finish on the base, and the wraparound is a grippy soft rubber which should hold onto your neck or shirt collar well. There are grey metallic accents on the band as well that have a left and right marking on them. The earphones also borrow the same design and colouring theme with a matte black finish on them with a grey metallic accent around the outside of them. The ear tips provided are all soft and quite comfortable to wear over longer listening sessions so should be comfortable for most people for longer flights or a long day at the office. Yamaha seems to be consistent with including tactile buttons on all their devices. Under the left lower section of the band, you'll find the power on and off button and to the side it has a play and pause button near a volume up and down button. On the right side, it's got one ANC toggle button. The USB-C charging point is located under the panel on the left and you can connect the USB-C to 3.5mm cable here as well for when you don't want to use Bluetooth. These come with Bluetooth version 5.0, it has voice assistant support and it comes with active noise cancelling. And I also quite like the fact that they still use tactile buttons. Operating the functions on the buttons are fairly simple. Pressing the ANC button toggles between ANC on, off and ambient mode. Pressing the play pause button does as it says and also answers and ends phone calls. It also works to activate your voice assistant with a quick double press. Then you also get a volume up button which also works to skip to the next track if you hold it down for 2 seconds. And the volume down button will reduce the volume and skip to the beginning of a track if you hold it down for 2 seconds. Being targeted at the executive, this can be connected to as many as 8 devices, but it doesn't support simultaneous pairing so as to avoid depletion in audio quality. So you can connect it to multiple phones, iPads or laptops should you need to, but manually from that device's settings. Then you also get app support, and in typical Yamaha fashion, it's as simple as it can get without pulling you away from your content. This works with the Yamaha headphones app and lets you access a firmware update option should these need one. You get to see how much battery percentage is left here. Then it lets you toggle between the listening care on and off, the listening optimizer on and off as well and I'll speak about these in the chapter about sound. Then you can toggle between noise cancelling on, ambient sound and off modes and it lets you set a power off timer as well. When it comes to the ANC, pressing the ANC button only lets you toggle between ANC on, off or having the ambient mode sound on. You can't control different noise levels that you can let in like some other earphones do. The transparency or ambient sound mode on this actually works quite well and it's not ultra sensitive like the E7B was. This one lets in sounds a little more naturally compared to that. The active noise cancelling works pretty well on this if you manage to find the right ear tip. Now, if your ear tip's not fitting you right, there is definitely going to be a little noise bleed in. In fact, I faced this when I first started using these. So it's worthwhile taking the time to see which set of those five ear tips fits with each ear because these contribute towards a lot of passive isolation as well. And the combination of the isolation and the noise cancelling can work out to be quite good. These do manage to keep out a lot of droning noises. So my studio is very close to a very busy road. So whenever the active noise cancelling is on, it does manage to keep a lot of the droning noises from the engines. It will also cut off AC motors, fan motors. And if you're traveling a lot, if you're on a plane, 
This will do a very good job. The active noise cancelling will do a very good job with eliminating the lower frequencies of droning sounds from airplane engines. This does come with a few microphones that's handling its active noise cancelling and sound optimizer. Now, these same microphones are also contributing towards an environmental noise cancelling for any of those phone calls that you might be taking. And for you to know how well this would do for your recipient, there really is only one way to check and see this in the real world. So I'm calling you from the confines of my studio, which should simulate an office situation. My studio is pretty close to a busy street, so there might be a few noises that beat in. And uh, right now I am on my camera microphone. So what I'll do right now is I'll switch over to the EP E70A microphone right about now. So this is the kind of sound you can expect your recipients to hear. So you are sitting in the reviewer seat right now to see how it will sound to them. And if this is good enough for you, it should give you a general idea about how your recipient will hear you as well. Now, should you want to take a break and go down to a busy area? Area, uh, and take a phone call and see how that will sound to your recipient. Let's go ahead and see how that sounds. So here I am down at the busy street where I normally do a lot of these call tests. Today isn't too busy but this should give you an idea of how much noise in these earphones are going to be back right now. Uh, I have been on the camera microphone just to give you a sense of how much noise is going on around me. Uh, there is a lot of traffic going on here and some construction work as well. Uh, so now what I'll do is I'll shift over from the camera microphone to the e 70 right about now. So, uh, like I said, you are in the reviewer seat. So, uh, if this is the kind of audio that you're looking for, uh, that you'll be happy for your recipients to listen to, uh, this would make sense for you to pick up. Now, uh, one thing I do is, especially when earphones have um, ANC and ENC, uh, ANC and ambient mode, I like to cycle between them. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, all this time I've been on the noise cancelling mode, and I'll shift over to the ambient sound and off modes because sometimes there is a bit of a different load on the algorithm when you toggle between them. So as of now, I've been on the noise cancelling mode and I'll switch over to the next mode now, which is the ambient sound mode. So I can hear everything that's coming in because these are bleeding in this information. Now, uh, you will be the best judge to see if your sound has changed for you uh, because this is again how your recipient will hear it. And now I'm toggling over to off. And now with me, it's full passive isolation. So actually in this kind of setting, this is a lot more pleasant because the ambient sound is letting all the noises in. Uh, so I, if I'm out and about like over here, I'd prefer the noise cancelling to be off or in the ANC mode. So I've just gone back to noise cancelling now. So I hope this call demo has given you a good idea of what to expect from these earphones if you do buy them. And of course, I will see you back at the studio. These come with 9.2mm dynamic drivers and support SPC, AAC and Aptex adaptive codecs. And they also have a frequency response of 20Hz and go all the way up to 20,000Hz. On a volume front, these benefit tremendously from Yamaha's listening care feature. This tends to elevate the lower and higher frequencies at lower volume, so you never really have to crank up the volume too high. Yamaha has incorporated this feature in the hopes that people will not crank up the volume too high because this has led to a lot of people losing hearing at a much younger age. So thanks to this feature, I can listen to these very comfortably between 35 and 45% volume. In fact, I've done most of my testing in that range. If I take it up to 50%, it can be a little uncomfortably loud for me. But you can also listen to these down low at 5 to 10% volume as well without losing much roundedness in your music. And all those microphones that this has is also contributing towards the listening optimizer that this has inbuilt. It's an active system that's constantly checking to see the environment around you and compensating the audio to give you the best audio quality possible. When it comes to their soundstage, they do stage similarly as the other earphones from Yamaha. It does form a bubble in your head, but some tones do give the illusion of coming from outside of the earphones. These have good separation between left and right channels and your phantom channel is dead center. These don't image as well as I hoped that they would, but they do make for a good set of casual listening earphones. You can zone into certain nuances if you'd like, but these are not as crisp and tight as the E7B when it comes to imaging. High frequencies have a slight accentuation, but stay clear of being too elevated. It's got a rather gentle approach here without much enthusiasm but has good construction and stays well defined. Thanks to the way this range has been tuned, you don't get any form of sibilance, making these quite easy on the ear over longer listening sessions. Listening to the Eagles Tequila Sunrise, the higher frequencies that come in through the hi-hats or even the strumming from the guitar aren't quite as rich as I'd like them to be and make me wish these had their own EQ I could play around with in their app like some of the other Yamaha earphones. 
mid frequencies is where it gets a lot more detail than the highs but there is a recess in the lower mids this tuning can make male vocals not come through with as much depth as they're supposed to have but they manage to have good separation between any male and female vocals if they're performing simultaneously thankfully it doesn't sound like the vocalists volume drops in this range rather they sound like they're coming to you a little further back in the stage with instruments being a little more present listening to all for you by kian de crow featuring ella henderson kian's voice comes through cleanly but can almost sound nasal when he's singing softly until he opens up his voice stays rounded and is able to come through with emotion that i didn't expect these earphones to handle then when ella comes in she sounds a little more forward but when they combine their talents at the same time there is good detail and separation between their vocals making this a rather pretty acoustic goodbye tune for a newer age Low frequencies are where these are absolutely no slouch and I can see these keeping you entertained in flight if you're watching any in-flight movies. I'm pretty sure this range has been accentuated as much as it has in order to compensate for any engine noises you might be exposed to. It's got body and a weight to it that I'd only expect from earphones with a much larger driver. The lower mids to upper bass region definitely have a recess with an elevated sub-bass frequency. This range will carry your explosions well and other low frequency sounds you'll experience while watching any action movie. Listening to Calvin Harris's This Is What You Came For featuring Rihanna, the sub bass region has a kick I haven't heard in any of the Yamaha earphones I've reviewed so far, and this is what I think a lot of people would really enjoy in their music listening. It's got an enjoyable thump without being obnoxious and doesn't interfere with the mids, keeping them almost untouched and clean in their delivery. So to sum up, on a build front, there's not really anything I can complain about because. The overall feel of this device is top notch. I like the feel of the neck band at the back, which is uh, soft rubber. It grips pretty well, and uh, I didn't find myself feeling uncomfortable. Uh, maybe some people may feel a little discomfort in the heat with that, uh, but if you're using it around a collared shirt, you're not going to have any problem with it. And I like the fact that they still got tactile buttons on their devices because this one's got a very positive feel. So every time it clicks, you can even sort of sense it that much better than having a touch panel. It's easier to interact with. On a comfort front, when I first wore these straight out of the box, uh, they were a bit uncomfortable because I think the medium ear tips that came with these were a bit too large for me. Uh, so I swapped between a few ear tips uh, until I found the right size, and I have been sitting with these for prolonged periods of time uh, just to see how they sound and and how they function. And I found that uh, the discomfort I had originally. Uh, didn't exist once I figure out what your tip size to fit. So it's worthwhile taking your time and figuring out exactly which one fits you well with any set of earphones. Honestly, if you want to feel as comfortable as you can with them, and it will also benefit your active noise cancelling. If you've got a better seal, it's going it's going to perform that much better. On a feature front, I think this one's active noise cancelling is pretty good. I mean, it's it may not be as good as some higher end headphones or earphones I've used, but uh, it gets the job done of getting all the droning noises out. So. That uh, distraction of lower drone sounds will definitely get eliminated. Uh, now, some people might say that oh, the app isn't uh, filled with too many features. Now, uh, Yamaha has intentionally done this because you do get manufacturers who've got a whole lot of things, pages worth of features, in fact, uh, in the apps. Now, Yamaha has done this deliberately so that you don't get engrossed in those in the entire feature list. You just activate what you need to, and you can focus more on your content. Than what the features your earphones have to offer. Having a USB-C to auxiliary cable, I find quite interesting because it's one way you can stretch the battery life. Uh, now I'm not too sure how much battery life you can get with this because this has a very long battery life as is, which is just uh, which is the 18 hours. Let me paint a picture for you. If you are in office and uh, you know you're going to have a long night uh, and you don't have a charging cable by chance, you can just plug your earphones into your laptop or your phone via the cable. So you're not using your wireless uh, Bluetooth frequencies to consume more battery it will definitely stretch out the battery time another thing about this is it plugs into an airline adapter obviously giving you the opportunity to plug into uh, your in flight entertainment so uh, if you don't want to drain the battery off of your phone uh, you can just plug into that and you you can again stretch your battery time now on a sound front this is definitely not for an audio file this detail recovery isn't anywhere as good as what it should be uh, if you're so particular about your music for casual listening is fine. I mean, uh, if you're just walking around the house or you need to get from point A to point B in a, in a cab or if you're in flight, it's okay. If there's a lot of things going around you, you definitely can't do critical listening in any case. So uh, this is that kind of headphone that will be around your neck uh, and in your ears when you're doing things. So it's 
it's good for background uh, listening for music listening but of course i think it's targeted towards people who will be wanting to make a lot of calls and be receiving calls now on the receiving end when it comes to phone calls uh, i've never really had a problem with hearing uh, the person who's called me uh, their their voice sits very well uh, between the earphones uh, it's crisp and clear but i suppose this would also depend on the caller's reception from where they're calling from and when it comes to the base extension that these have i was a bit surprised because all the yamaha earphones i've heard till now they've been very particular about delivering a trueness of sound so there's very little bass extension in most of the other earphones this is the first one that has as much as it does and i think at least the people uh, majority of people who live over here will appreciate this kind of signal because you want to hear the explosions you want to hear the thump in your music uh, so uh, i think a lot of people will actually like this tuning these are definitely made for a business executive who's moving around a lot be it flying or moving from office to office who wants to be on multiple calls because I can see somebody wanting to buy a set of TWS earphones but then uh, the pros and cons there are your TWS will give you a maximum of maybe 5 to 6 hours maybe less when it comes to phone calls this is giving you straight away 18 hours uh, with ANC on so uh, if you're on perpetual calls maybe expect a little less time and not the full 18 hours if you want more time switch off the active noise cancelling uh, you should be able to stretch out the battery a little more now i've seen a lot of people struggle when they're in the airports uh, they are holding multiple bags in hands phones and some people have earphones on and taking out a earphone putting it back in its case and then later on taking it out putting it back in your ears it's a bit of a hassle with this thing just sitting around your neck if you're taking a call you can just pop it back into your ear pull it out and drop it you you your hands this is literally hands free because you you don't have to interact with it like you would with a set of TWS earphones so i can see a massive convenience factor when it comes to these these would benefit a lot of people by just being there being present ready to just pick up switch on and use i've never really seen the convenience in a neckband until i've spent some time with this set in particular because uh, i've myself i've struggled with uh, TWS earphones on flights so would i recommend these earphones to you well if you fit this picture of being an executive or you want a set of earphones that are no nonsense and you just want them to work uh, you want your hands free you travel a lot uh, you need something to be on calls for Uh, if you think the call quality worked well for you uh, then these earphones might just be for you so how much do these cost well at the time of recording this uh, they are available on the yamaha website i think they're going to expand to amazon soon uh, by the time this video goes live it should be available so but on the yamaha website they are presently going for an mrp of 23600 on the yamaha website in particular so i i think it's worthwhile maybe Uh, toggling through Yamaha and Amazon to see where you can get a better deal because obviously if you can save uh, a little money and you really want these it's worthwhile going there and I will leave their links down below so if you're still here I presume you like the content on my channel and if you would like to support it I'm sure you know exactly how to I hope I helped you make some sort of purchase decision but of course thank you to tuning to Paul's POV for some sound advice